Oye, que paso? Blackout, blackout. Hey everybody, welcome to The Big Llama Show and welcome to First Impressions. Uh, we're going to talk about the movie Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Uh, I just got back from the movies, I took the family to go see it. Uh, it was a fun time at the movies, but here are my first impressions of that movie. Here we go. Hey everybody, welcome back. Again, thank you guys so much for joining me for First Impressions. Again, we usually do uh, movie reactions on the channel, but occasionally when I go to see a movie, I'd like to give you guys my first impressions, my immediate thoughts, right after I finish watching the movie. So I just got back from the movies. Uh, I took the whole family to go see Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, and we did pick up a special treat. We got the uh, special popcorn bucket. Uh, this thing is awesome. This thing is awesome. It's sturdy as hell, but I'm not here to review a popcorn bucket. I'm here to review a movie. Um, again, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Uh, should you go see it? Um, you know, is it fun? Is it good? You know, I'm not really that kind of critic where I would tell you if a movie is good or bad in terms of like, should you go see it? I always tell you, you should see it for yourself. Let me tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly about this movie. Spoiler alert. I'm going to win. First and foremost, I love the Ghostbusters franchise, so I'm a big fan of it. I love the lore. I enjoy the, the, the movie uh, and the movies. I would say this. This movie suffers from a little bit of the anticipation and hype of the, of the last one, the last reboot that they had, which had a lot of pieces of nostalgia in it that worked really, really well. And it was directed by uh, Jason Reitman. This one clearly was not directed by him. I think it was written by him. This is a traditional blockbuster type movie. This is a, a movie that goes by the beats of... Of, of the characters being in peril, uh, there being sort of a lull in there, a little bit of story development, and then the big third act that just sort of sews everything up. There are funny moments, there are action sequences, there are scary moments. The one thing that this movie suffers from is that um, there's too many characters, too many things going on, too many subplots. And so unfortunately it does get a little convoluted. The first act of the movie is a little slow. If you're a fan of the franchise, if you're a fan of the movie, you will find uh, humor and you will find you know love for this movie. If you're just not, if you're a casual fan, I think you might you might be a little bit bored in the first act. There is a lot, a lot of of hidden gems, Easter eggs that pay off for you, but at the same time, they they kind of hit you over the head with them. So it just is missing a little piece of heart. McKenna Grace uh, is obviously moved to the forefront. That's Egon's uh, granddaughter. She's moved to the forefront of the movie as the span the lead Spangler. I didn't understand is is how we got from the small town that they were in to New York. How they became because you just kind of get thrusted right in to them being in New York. Now, New York in itself is a, a character. It gives you that Ghostbusters feel. They're back in the old station. They've got, they're fighting ghosts in New York. New York is always a great setting, a great backdrop for any kind, any movie, especially a Ghostbusters movie. Now, you do have too many characters, meaning like they had to retrofit and bring everybody back in. Paul Rudd is exceptional. I always love him in movies. The mother character, she was kind of forgettable. I wasn't really that enthused by her. You got uh, Kumail Nanjiani is in here. He's more co uh, comedic relief and he kind of feels like he's outside of the movie and he's a new character but he's funny he does have some levity you've got dan Aykroyd in a bigger role bill murray is more of a cameo of uh, winston zedmore uh, ernie hudson's character um he's the main you know money provider but again he's not in it as much you have Annie potts in here a little bit um they do give you everything that you saw in the trailers in the movie um again where this sort of loses its steam a little bit is the mckenna grace storyline where she's working with a ghost of some sort again i'm trying not to spoil it for you but it it, it just kind of it, it kind of doesn't work for me but that's kind of where the movie lost a little bit of its steam as we build to the third act it does go balls to the wall it does sort of hit you with the traditional let's wrap this up let's have a mega huge battle but the problem is that the 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 bad guy the villain is such a looming large character throughout the entire movie that for the character to be dusted off that quickly at the end seemed a little bit rushed and seemed like there was something that could have been done a little bit better a little bit more the third act seemed rushed seemed like they they, they put too much in there it's a two-hour movie so it had a plenty of runtime there was a lot of things that could have been cut out but but again did i have a good time at the movies yes is it a perfect movie no was the the previous uh, afterlife was that one a better uh, a better reboot yes absolutely that's a better movie in, in my opinion than the current one empire uh, frozen empire was it still a fun 
popcorn movie that you can go watch and enjoy absolutely if you're a fan of the franchise definitely go see it i definitely just miss some of the feels that i got from afterlife that i wanted in this movie but at the same time there's just a lot to cram in there dan, again dan Aykroyd plays a bigger role in this enjoyed his part tremendously and and when dan Aykroyd and uh because he, he teams up with podcast and mckenna and podcast is my favorite character but he has grown up quickly when they are teaming up together doing uh the investigating that's when it feels like a truly like like a ghostbusters movie the rest of it kind of feels like it's it's an action film and there are elements in there that you're gonna love i love the practical effects i love that slimer is back that was in the trailers i love the fact that they have some of the old ghosts back the one character finn wolfhard barely used they're giving him a different storyline or not even had him in the movie at all because he was definitely just a side character he really didn't have a role in this movie other than just hey he was in the last movie he's in this movie there's another character i don't even know her name she was in the last movie and they just sprung up in this movie as well again just trying to retrofit or put in a lot of the uh, the new characters they introduced that those are some problems that the movie had but overall i would give this movie maybe a six and a half maybe seven um it was a fun movie i would definitely take the kids it's a little had some scary sequences in it so if you have kids who are scared easily don't take them lots of fun um popcorn flick action film lots of scary sequences there's a lot of humor a lot of comedy in there overall just doesn't stick the landing and it does suffer from nostalgia bait so unfortunately um, not exactly what i was thinking or, or what i was expecting that it just wasn't as good as afterlife and it left something to be desired. So that's my review of the movie, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Uh, guys, tell me what you guys think about the movie. It comes out this weekend. Go check it out. Again, see for yourself if you like these movies. Don't just go by critics' uh, recommendations or reactions. Those are my personal thoughts about this movie, my first impressions, and that's what I think. But again, if you like my channel, if you like these types of reactions, if you like these types of comments, please make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. That's how you help us grow and how we can do more of these things. If you like this shirt or any of the shirts that I wear, this is my Be Kind Rewind shirt. Um, make sure you guys uh, hit the merch store. The links are in the description. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me on First Impressions. I'm the Big Llama. This is the Big Llama Show, First Impressions. And guys, it's Be Kind Rewind. We'll see you at the movies, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Off, I don't care what you people say, never follow.